What might be some of the hardest things to admit? Well, I'd say here are some ideas. First, that we spent way too much resources on what is called sunk costs and later discover we might say we were sold a bill of goods or we drank the Kool-Aid or we threw away our money, our time, our youthhood. Yes, these three things in my mind, sunk costs being uh, a lot of money invested, a lot of time, maybe a lot of emotional suffering, and finally, your youthhood. Trying to start over later can be quite difficult. So many more encumbrances, slower mental speed, less beauty, and so on. Less opportunities in many respects and less energy to try again, especially if one's been knocked upside the head with too many, quote, failures. I believe there's only a very limited number of areas that we're talking about here. First, in terms of, quote, education, especially at the college level, but um, doubly so, triply so, to get a terminal degree, Ph.D. or M.D. degree. Then the sunk costs of getting married, especially if you, quote, marry the wrong person or you marry for reasons you find out later you wish you wouldn't have married for in general. Or the having of children can be a huge sunk cost. And both of these latter two ideas, by the way, being things that are not easy in certain countries to extract out of. Especially uh, regarding whether that country has certain viewpoints on divorce and abortion. I'm not saying one way or the other uh, my viewpoints and that I even have strong clarified viewpoints, but um, so be it on these matters. And then there's the sunk cost of what religion you are invested in and in turn build your friendships on and even careers upon, if so. Sunk costs also with regard to whether you own a home, have purchased one, especially a home that you might have trouble selling. And then there are the sunk costs if you plow a lot of money, time, youthhood, and uh, pain even into what they call therapy or psychoanalysis, only to discover maybe you threw it at the wrong sources of help or even um, that the whole concept of getting help from someone else is uh, rather superfluous. For a variety of reasons. Maybe instead of trying to quote get help, one should have spent a lot more time observing, uh, developing the mental capacities with mathematics and linguistics to process this with great clarity and then spending a lot of time too in reviewing. There's even a video by Elaine de Botton from the School of Life in England, something to the effect of why you will marry the wrong person. Uh, he didn't say uh, anything about whether marriage is even a good idea for the average person at all. Uh, although there is somebody in the Christian scriptures who urges people not to marry, was it St. Paul? Unless they find it necessary. And others, um, there's a long tradition of great philosophers who never married or who were married and then left it, including the Buddha and Gandhi, if you want to call them philosophers for short, or great spiritual leaders. But there's a long tradition, in fact, the somewhat derogatory phrase from Nietzsche of a married philosopher is a joke. So given all these sunk cost issues, is it any wonder then that many people who have not sunk costs, resources, if you will, 
a part of their life that can never be perhaps gotten back into such and then being what they call envied or um, objects of derision, rejection, condemnation, scapegoating, and so on. There's even a man who um, wrote a book, Vanaboating, urging you not to tell people that you RV long term and that you're really enjoying it. Because maybe a lot of other people are, quote, jealous of the freedoms one has, in part from sunk costs not invested, or that you broke free. Now, of course, there are others who will say, though, that sometimes we need adversity, including, I would say, sunk costs, uh, squandered resources in this sense, to grow without pain, no gain, and that these are thorns in the side that cause us to question things uh, and become philosophers in the truest sense. Hence, writers saying sometimes that everything is grist for the mill, and others saying, whatever doesn't kill you makes you stronger, except for bears, they will kill you. Those are my thoughts then on the issue of sunk costs and why it's so hard to admit certain things.